Hi, in this video, we'll see some interesting topic named as interactive filters. Now we are gradually approaching towards dashboards and stories where we can interact with the dashboards and change the graphs. So for that, there's one important element that is nothing but interactive filters. We have seen how to work with the basic filters. Just drag the pills and you have to drop, drop into the filters page itself. Now, if I want to use this interactive filters, how does it look like? So on the right hand side, if you see, there's a checkboxes which are given and the name of this area is nothing but category checkboxes. So this belongs to this filter that is category furniture, office supplies and technology, furniture, office supplies and technology. So if I want to interact with my data graph, okay, without using this option, earlier I used to click on this drop down and select this as edit filter, but now I'll not go there. I'll simply select furniture. If I want to select furniture, first I'll deselect all like this and then I'll select this furniture. So if you see the category of furniture is displayed. If you want one more, you select as one more, let's say technology and I'm getting furniture and technology, both of them. If you want all, you can just simply click on all of them. Okay. So this is how we'll be working on this interactive filters. Now let's see how do I create this interactive filters. Let's see now. So I'll go to this place that is interactive filters layout. That's a blank sheet here. How did I create that? First of all, I'll try to create a graph. That's a bar graph here by columns and row shelves. So I'll bring this subcategory here and uh, I'll try to bring this category in this place. Select the sales in the columns that is done. And now earlier, if you want a filter, you used to create, you used to bring this category and drop into the filters tab, filters page shelf. And uh, we used to select something, but right now I'll just not, I'll just click on cancel. I'll not use this method. The another method to bring an interactive filter on the right hand side is you can just click on this drop down and you can select this option as show filters. So when you select show filters, the pill will automatically come into this filters and also on the right hand side. So whatever elements are given in that filter, you can see all these options. Okay. This is very simple and you can create it, right? But the, the main thing of showing this one is now we'll be seeing how to work on different layouts of filters. Now, this layout is of the checkbox. You have radio button, drop down list, you have the scroll bars. These are different layouts. How do I find out different layouts from here? If I just click on this place, click on this drop down and these are the different layouts. Single value, single value drop down, slider, list and these are multiple values. These are single values. So what I'll do is I'll just select this option and if I select as single value list, okay, now this is nothing but a drop down that is a radio button. If I select as office supplies, I'll be only able to see office supplies. That means one at a time, no, not more than one. Okay. That's the reason why it is named as single value and that's a list. Let's see if you want to see single value, but not using a list. So if you observe, that's a list of all the categories. If I want to see the single value using a drop down. So I'll select as drop down from here. Okay. So right now, if you see office supplies are selected, if I click on this drop down, I can select any one of them. Okay. I'll select as technology. So that is a second type of layout that is nothing but a single value. And that is a drop down here. Okay. Single value. That's a drop down. Let's see the third one, which I have single value. That's a slider. Now see when you, when you pick up the pills from here and you put into the categories, or when you say as show filters, this layout will be automatically displayed based on this uh, pills itself. Okay. So you don't have to worry about it, but still, if you want to change, if you want to customize, that's the method, right? So if I select as single value slider, okay. And what happens right now, the last one is technology. If I click on the first one, it says office supplies. If I click on the previous one, it says furniture. And if you observe, that's a furniture. And if I come to the first point, if I come to the first point, it says all. So these are all the categories which are displayed. If you want to clearly understand from here, it, it is say, saying as all. The next one is given as the furniture. Third one is given as office supplies and the fourth one is technology. So again, this one is a single value that is given as a slider. If I click on this drop down, if you see, so list is giving you the list of elements. Drop down will give you the drop down with the list of elements again. And here is a slider where you can select the options. Okay. Now let's see if I want to use for multiple values, that is list. I'll select multiple values list. This is by default, which you have seen. So default comes only based on your pills itself. So if you select this category, you'll get something different layout. 
if you select some dates you'll get some different layouts also okay let's see the next one now i have something named as multiple values and that's a drop down okay in this multiple values there's a drop down if i click on this drop down i'm getting a checkbox i'm getting a drop down with the checkbox with the list of all the categories and if you want you can select furniture and technology the same way and when you click outside the you know the drop down list goes away so this is also one more method of displaying okay now i'll select this and i'll click on this drop down and if you see there's one more given as multiple values that's a custom list select this multiple values custom list now what custom list says is whatever elements are displayed here will be given in this list okay now for example if i select this technology and if i click on this cross button so in this list only i'll get this furniture suppose if you want to add one more from here so you can just type here as office supplies and you can click on this plus plus sign so if you observe here i'm getting furniture and office supplies both of them let's see if you want technology again you have to type as technology enter technology and you can select this check box and you can click outside so whatever elements you want that's that's the multiple values and that's a custom list select this click on this drop down multiple values custom list so the thing is you should remember the names of the rows or you can say as names of the pills which you have the data itself and you can keep on typing at this place now there's one more interesting thing that is given as wild card okay wild card match now for wild card match i'll use some other filter okay so i'll remove this filter first of all i'll remove this category filter okay and i'll try to bring this sub category okay not this method select this drop down click on this show filter okay and i've got multiple values here why i took this example because there are multiple values and i can show you the difference between you know few values and the different values so i'll select this drop down and i can select as wild card match okay now wild card match if i type as a okay if i type as capital a and press enter so what will happen is all the sub categories see remember this one is sub categories all the sub categories which starts with alphabet a will be given here if i say all the sub categories which start with alphabet s capital s enter so these are two categories sub categories which starts with the alphabet s will be given here okay and again if i want i can just type as t enter so for t i have this tables okay so wild card so if i would have taken this example of category okay only three elements are there so it is difficult for me to show okay so i'll just click on this cross sign okay and there is no uh, wild card filter so i can see everything if i try to use let's say uh, if i try to use p so i have phones paper yeah so i'll type here as p capital p enter so i have paper and phones okay so these are different layouts these are different layouts for interactive filter based on your requirement you can use this interactive filters select the pills from here select the dimensions from here and you can click on this drop down and you can bring this show filter right so i hope you able to understand how do we work with interactive filters in the next video we'll see how to work with this interactive filters that is dependent and also we'll see how to work on this date filters okay date interactive filters that's all for this video